boy. He's always late. I declare you'd never know that Tom and Sid was even half-brothers, would you? If he'd learn his Bible verses for Sunday school, he might be a better boy. We won't wait for him. Sit down and eat. Uh, fetch the cake. Let me help you with it, Cousin Mary. Miss Polly! Oh, Miss Polly! Well, what is it, Jim? Does you want this wood or this wood? Oh, any wood, Jim. Maybe this wood is better than this wood. Oh, all right. <laughs> Land of Goshen. Your hair looks like a horror's nest. Did you wash your hands good? Mmm, gave yourself a lick and a promise, I'll be bound. Well, eat your supper before it gets cold. Lord, we thank thee for our daily bread. Amen. Bread, Cousin Mary, please. Tom, it was powerful warm in school today, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Hmm. Didn't you want to go swimming, Tom? No, well, not very much. But you're not too warm now, though, are you? Some of us stuck our heads under the pump. Mine's damp yet, see? Yes. If you only pumped water on your head, you didn't have to undo your shirt collar where I sewed it, did you? Hmm. Well, I was sure you'd played hooky from school and gone swimming. Didn't you sew his collar with white thread, Aunt Polly? Yes, I did. That thread's black. Tom! Huh. Ouch! It could turn black, couldn't it, in the sun? Well, you're enough to give a saint the conniptions. Yes, sir. Now, you march straight up to bed and right now. on Saturday. I would, Aunt Polly, but there ain't any whitewash. Oh, yes, there is. I mix three whole bucketfuls myself. That whole great big fence? Every inch of it. And you don't want any streaks in it, do you, Aunt Polly? Nary a one. I'll tell the boys you can't go swimming, because you got to whitewash the old fence. Bye, Tom. you'd rather work. What do you call work? Well, ain't that work? Well, all I know is it suits Tom Sawyer. Say, let me whitewash a little. Think I'd let a dude whitewash? Oh, come on now. I'd let you if you was me. No. If it were the inside, I wouldn't mind. And Aunt Polly wouldn't. But she's awful particular about the outside. Oh, shucks. I'd be careful. I'll give you the rest of my apple. 
Well, here, no, I'm afeard. And I'll give you this, too. Ain't that a humdinger? What is it? It's a knob off a brass door knocker. All my life I wanted a knob off a brass door knocker. Well, here, quick before I change my mind. Here on Polly Bayard. Well, what's the matter now? Can't you tend to work and leave a body in peace? May I go now, Aunt Polly? How much have you done? It's all done. Three coats, too. Now, see here, Tom. Don't you lie to me. I can't bear it. Well, look. Huh. Well, I never. <laughs> There's no getting around it. You can work when you've a mind to. Well, run along and play. Virtue is its own reward, as the good book says. on that blabber skite when he comes home. Go on. Oh, dear. Oh. yo -ho! Hello, Amy. Hello, Tom. Dear, I've got something for you. Where have you been such a long time? I haven't seen you since we got engaged. I had the chicken pox. You haven't got it now, have you? No, silly. Think my ma'd let me out if I wasn't all cured. Who's moving in across the way? I heard my ma say it was the new judge. Oh, that's their silly little girl. She's awful. Ma sent me over to play with her, but I wouldn't. She's too ugly. Nobody around here is going to like her. Say, Amy, are you sure you got over the chicken pox? Yes. Certain sure? Why, yes. What's the matter? You look awful peaked. I do. What are those two pink spots on your cheek? Pink spots? Why? Of course, maybe it's only poison ivy. Yes, maybe it is. 